Dan and I were on our way. We dropped off the dogs. <laughs> Amen. And headed to the airport. It, me, it, it us. I am Dan. Ooh. And we're gonna go to Washington, <laughs> D.C. <laughs> All was going well. We got our Sammies, stuffed our pie holes. Then suddenly, the unthinkable happened. Our flight was canceled, and the next flight wasn't until 4 a.m. the next morning. <laughs> okay, let's try this again. I was way more upset at the fact that Dan thought that these were, were rabbits. We finally made it to DC. We hop on the Metro and had to get this little dumpling, some dumplings. So Bubba and I got to DC, took our naps, and now we're gonna go look at a Smithsonian because I'm actually 100 years old. Would you fancy a cup of tea? Ooh. Wow, Muhammad Ali's boxing gloves and his ice skates. After spending a couple hours in the museum, Dan and I were hungry and decided to head towards Chinatown. I've been traumatized. So like I said, Dan and I walking to dinner, doing our thing, minding our own business, and we're standing at the crosswalk waiting for it to turn green so that we can walk. I don't know, like five, 10 feet from us, this like 65 year old woman just looked really disheveled. I can tell something was off because like her titties were out. So she's walking up towards us and we're just minding our own business. There's other people around us. It's literally like five o'clock rush hour. She just kicks off her shoes and like rips her pants off and she does like it all at the same time. I actually don't even know how it was possible, but she did it. So she's 100% naked at this point and we're still just like, and then there was a guy standing behind us with his girlfriend and he was just like on his phone and she proceeds to like lunge and punch him like in the chest. The punch was really, it was like a slow motion punch, almost like when you're in a dream and you try to punch someone. So she did that and like took off running. He didn't even like look up from his phone. He must have lived in the city. His girlfriend was like and kicked her shoes that were on the sidewalk into the road. And there's a guy like sweeping the streets and she like takes this trash can, flips it over and then runs across like all the nine lanes of traffic. And then we went and got dinner, so. <laughs> we went to Tony Chang's, which is like a stir fry restaurant where you choose your meat and your noodles and the veggies and they cook it in front of you. After eating dinner, Dan rolled my body to Milk Bar so that I could eat more. Okay, tell me an interesting fact about the president. The who? The Hope Diamond were $35. We scooted to Bobby Flay's Burger Palace for lunch. And now to the Air and Space Museum. That's it, I'm having a baby, an astronaut baby. A little bit of a mukbang and ASMR for you freaks out there. The assassination of President Lincoln seems like a case only Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen can solve. Or us. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, enough of all of the murder. That was getting me down. Now we're at the museum, which is a museum of news. So I really wanted to see this Unabomber exhibit and the little hut where he built his bombs because I watched the Netflix series and it was like 10 out of 10 stars. All right, y'all already know, girls gotta eat. <laughs> Grilled cheese and tomato soup. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. It is un piece de la resistance. <laughs> and again, I find myself at Milk Bar. So for our final dinner in DC, we went to Momofuku, and I had a little lemon slushy. There she is. Oh my God, <sighs> so good. 
there we are. And then we walked back to the hotel and saw two homeless people finger blasting each other's buttholes. Hmm. <laughs>